Hola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome back. Today we are going to do that Elite Trainer Box here. We got the blue one, Retro has the orange one, and we are going to do a Viewer's Choice Battle. So I was, gonna, I was actually just asking for a general pack battle with him, but he said, let's just do Viewer's Choice, and I agreed. Let's do Viewer's Choice. So, what I am... I'm going to offer up an ante, though. I didn't tell him I'm going to, but I'm going to offer up an ante. So, let me just go through my collection here. Should I do that on camera? Mm, maybe not, I guess. Maybe not. I guess I shouldn't. But, I'm going to offer up, if Retro beats me, I'm going to send him my Gyarados GX from my pre-release. Because, ever since I pulled this card, I felt like it just reminds me of Retro and New. And I actually was able to pull a second one of these, which is pretty awesome. So I think if, if Retro beats me, he gets to win this. So make sure you guys check out both videos and let me know, did he beat me or not? Um, let's go ahead and get the plastic off. It's a little less glary with these lights when we do it that way. Um, of course, I'm going to leave uh, Retro and News channel down in the description below in case you guys have never checked him out he's pretty awesome pretty fun guy and um is always fun to hang out with so let's go ahead and read this unknown new dimension passed through the ultra wormhole into a bizarre new pokemon world where familiar sights become strange and new powers are unlocked watch necrozma's power grow and marvel at its brand new prism cards Revealed their astounding effects on play, meet the Alga, Palkia, and encounter bizarre Ultra Beasts with wild new forms in Alola's legendary Pokemon. Explore a new dimension in the Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon expansion, or Ultra Prism expansion. So this thing comes with a whopping 8 TCG packs. Those sleeves, those energies, a uh, player's guide, 6 damage counters, a uh, competitive legally coin flip die, those acrylic markers and a collector's box to hold everything in with dividers. So pretty cool, pretty cool product, I must say. These are pretty sweet boxes. Kind of cool they went straight to the uh, black here. Making it all black. And uh, here is that, that booklet. Um, let me see if I can get this thing opened up. It usually shows off uh, pack art. Which I think everyone has seen at this point. I'm a little late to the game, but we got the Leafy on. Sweet. Giratina, Dawn Wings, and Dusk Mane. Um, I've done it before where I like put these back here, but I'm not going to do it today. We're just going to set it aside. I'll find a place for it at some other point. We have the sweet, awesome, um, i use that for shipping. I'll use that for shipping. So we got the sweet player's guide here. Tells you some sweet things. Tells you to shop at uh, PokemonCenter.com, at least for me. But it has, you know, some pretty pretty cool stuff. Tells you about the Prism Stars, how you can have one of uh, uh, each card in your deck. Uh, you can only have one. You can only have one Giratina, one Lunala, one Darkrai, one Solgaleo. You can put all four in the same deck, but you can only have one of each. So that's pretty cool. Some Cyrus, Super Boost Energy. That's a kind of a funny combo. Super Boost Energy with Komo OGX. I don't think anyone's going to try that, though. Tells you the new GXs. Leafeon, Glaceon, Dawnwings, Duskmane, Dialga, Palkia, and another Silvalli, a reprint Silvalli. Some Unit Energy. I have only pulled this Unit Energy. I have not seen that one at all. I don't believe it exists. Um, <laughs> five powerful combos. You know, you got Cynthia and Friends. So I guess it's just the deck's name. Cynthia and Friends. I'm actually working on my own version of Cynthia and Friends. We got Meter Coronet Circuit. <laughs> that's a that's a law that's a interesting name. So you have, you know, Dusk Main Necrozma with Magnazone and Mount Coronet. The Super Energy Shuffler, which is where you have uh, you know, Giratina Prism Star with some super scoop up action to get a bunch of psychic energy down on the board, and then you move it around with Lunala. Um which is kind of cool, actually. I didn't think about that, so I might use that. And then you have the... the they're trying to bring it back. They're bringing it back, the um, the Persimian, the teamwork Persimian here, where you uh, you use team play. Now, the only way I can think this could work 
It's because, I mean, your Persimmon is still going to go down right away. So if you do put three on your bench to do 190 damage with team play, you're going to need a more Shadow or something to be able to use team play while Persimmon's in the discard pile because that way you have something to promote as soon as Persimmon goes down. That's the only, thing I can think, only way I can think it work. And then Double Dark, you get some more energy down with Dark Cry Prism Star so Dark Cry EX can get some big numbers. And we have one of the newest great trainers in here in Cynthia. We have a skateboard, which is pretty sweet. Gardenia, I like it. Um, and then it shows you the list, which the, you know, Alone in Sanctuary is pretty sweet. I like it. Um, shows you all the different cards. All the Prism Stars. I like that there's an Alolan Executor. I'm hoping to get one of those and put it into my Alolan Executor GX deck. Like I said, I haven't seen any of these unit energies. I have gotten a reverse of that one and about five copies of it, but no no uh, Lightning Metal Psychic ones. And then look at this page. That is just amazing. If I get any of these, I'll be happy. And if I get any of those... I will be ecstatic. So, let's go ahead and start with this viewer's choice. Let's see who is going to come out on top. Retro and new or Dapper Drabby. He said, this guy this is your choice. Let me know down in the description below who won. Who pulled better. And we'll just remove everything. Here, 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 here. Eight packs. Energy. Not that anyone needs that. Looks like I got some new business cards, guys. That's that's what that is now. It's business cards. I have no place to put this. I have no place to put that. I really don't. Yet yeah, your yeah, Dawn Wings are uh, really cool dividers here. Four of them. And on the other side, it looks like this. So I'll put those aside. Sleeves. You got your sleeves, which is cool. If you're playing Dawn Wings like I will be. We'll be playing Dawn Wings with... Ooh, I like these dies. That blue is very nice. And some damage counters. Let's take that out. Pop this back on. And push it back here, because it's a pretty cool background. Again, some shipping material. I got a lot of shipping to do, as I'm sure some of you know. Um, but that's going to be probably the last bit of shipping I do for a while. It's expensive for me to ship stuff, so I think I've gotten out of hand with my giveaways, and I will probably dial it back. Um, did I forget anything? I think it's just time to start jumping in. So, if Retro New wins, he gets that Gyarados GX. And I guess I should say I'll give up the Glaceon too, but, you know, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to make promises I don't want to keep. Um, so, what's the four pack outs we have? We have Giratina, Dawn Wings, uh, Duskmane, and uh, Dunwing and Leafeon. And it looks like we have two of each. So um, I should jumble them all up, right? Or should I open them up in order? I don't know. I sh I, they are all already mixed up, so I guess I should have just kept them that way. But we'll shuffle them up so we don't know what we're pulling out of. Okay, we're going to open up a Duskmane first, and then some Dawn Wings, Leafeon, and then Giratina. I think we'll do the same for the next one. We'll do we'll do a Giratina last as well. So we'll leave those four up there, put these four up here, and we're going to start opening up to see what we get. If we get any good pulls, we got some perfect fits over here that we will put them in. So be sure to remind me of that, I guess. Energy is a uh, grass. It's psychic. So let's go ahead and start with the turtwig. That turtle. Gas bond, stunky. What am I throwing it on? I'm throwing it on the actual pack. Dewpider. This looks like an identical pack to something I've had before. Gibble. Murkrow. Turtonator with that searing flame. And electric memory for our Silver Valley. Stone Tank. We got that evolution. I am so... I really want to try this. Sticky Smoke Screen. The defending Pokemon tries to attack. It has to flip two coins. If either of them are tails, the attack does nothing. That is an amazing effect. The And it's only 50 damage. Reverse is a rare Sand Slash. I will put that up. 
And our rare is Obama Snow, those blessings of those forests. Very cool, very cool. I'm kind of glad we did get this beautiful sand slash. And I like that it looks like it's foil all the way through for me. Um, so I got these perfect fits. Let's see if we can perfectly fit this uh, Alolan Sandshrew in here. Sand Alolan Sandshrew is one of my new favorite Pokemon. I always liked old Sandshrew, but did not have a use for that ground type on my team. Um, I just always used a different ground type, I think. I think I just used uh, Earthquake, actually. I would just scratch the ground type and put Earthquake on something. And energy is metal. It's a metal set. It's another water. So we got the Palette of Friends. You know, if you have a bunch of different types of friends, you can use Palette of Friends and do a whopping 60 damage. Murkrow's mean look. Yanma with that super speed. Some snuggly generators. I've seen one person play that, again, to me, on TCGO. Uh, Monferno, a Honchcrow, Rip and Run, a Mount Coronet. We can set that one outside. We got the Identify Gumshoes. This is an uncommon. I keep forgetting he's not a rare. And a Mo Rotom. We got another Mo Rotom, huh? So Gumshoes, uh, he's just a reverse uncommon. We'll stick him there. I don't know why Turtonator's in a separate pile, but he is. Um, so I'll focus it for a second there. Already having trouble with stack maintenance. So I'm just putting notable cards, you know, stack. There we go. Let's go ahead and bust into Leafeon. Let's see where we go with this. So guys, here's a code. I guess I, I haven't been giving these away. Probably because I still need a bunch. So there you guys, there you guys go, code. Um... And we'll see what we get in a Leafeon pack. So far, no good, though. So I think Retro is probably in the lead. Um, uh, water Energy. Now it's Metal. Now it's Metal. Chimcha with those Fury Swipes. That's a sweet artwork. Jumping off the columns. Magmar standing up straight. A more Laws laughing on the ground all the time. Baneri is a weak need. That's a interesting. Electabuzz single-handedly can defeat... Uh, a, an Apollyon. Floatzel with that Aqua Blast. Looker's a Whistle. An Orangaroo. I really like this card. I tried it out in a Garchomp list. Magmite. Searching Magnets. And a Salolan Sand Slash. So, three for three with no hits. Yikes. Half my box right now. And um, I'm getting no luck. No luck whatsoever. I think my Ultra Prism luck is down in the dumps. Um, I might not be as lucky as others. Um, fighting. Ah, it's grass. I love grass. I should have said grass. We're going to start things off with Bronzor. This thing can mess you up with that hypnosis. Keep you sleeping when you want to be awake. Of course, I'm usually the opposite. I'm stay awake when I need to be sleeping. Magmite. Buizel. A solid unit Magmite. Shield on. Evolving from those mysterious fossils. Looker, looker here. Looky, looky here. A Luxio. That Order Pal is a reverse. And our rare is Tabu Lele. That's, that's decent. I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to count that as a pool because nothing else has been. So we'll put that there. And we're going to start in our second half. Second half. Oh, man. Looks like Retro is getting a new card from me. So let's see what we get here. A uh, Chimsha. And I'm worried. I don't want these ports to be this bad. One, two, three, and an energy. Energy is a dark. Fairies coming back again. Chimchar. Looks these packs look so identical. Morlaw, Baneri. That's exact. The Electabuzz. That's the same exact thing. And then Turtonator. Okay, Lopunny, Haunch Crow, Roselia, and our rare is Hapaudon. What? Four for four, nothing. Um, five actually, five. I'm gonna try, I don't want to. I don't want a perfect fit on a Rosalia. I don't. I don't want a perfect fit on Rosalia. Oh man, I, I've clearly, I've clearly lost this, guys. I've clearly lost this. Let's see if Dawn Wings can come back for us. One, two, three, and energy. Okay, <sighs> energy is dark. Fire. Okay, I'm just gonna get every energy wrong, which means I'm gonna get every 
every bad pull imaginable. We're going to start things off with the little uh, grass turtle here, Turt Wig. Stunky's Gas Bond and a Dewpiler. Gibble and Murkrow. And then a skateboard. I like that. Hopefully this is different. Grottle, we can actually evolve. Cynthia, that's a great pull. Yanma is a reverse. And our rare is an Infernape Hollow. I have to take it. It's nothing else has been coming. Infernape Hollow. So in case you guys were wondering, a flaming fighter is what a, this monkey is. And it does six more da six damage counters instead of two on your opponent's burn between turns. And this burst punch burns them. So that's pretty cool. Infernape. So we got Tapu Lele, Infernape, and a reverse for a Lone Sancher. We have two packs left. This is not looking good. I actually not seen a box this bad in a long, long time. I mean, maybe maybe these last last three or all the pulls are fairy. Ah, it's lightning. Um, but I highly doubt it. Let's see. Let's see. Salandit. So We're starting off things with Salandit. Okay, okay. Live combustion and coal. Piplub. A Alolan Diglett with the Iron Head. So, guys, make sure you check out both videos and tell me who won down in the comment section below. Now, this attack. This attack is sweet. Does 130 more damage if you have three or fewer cards left in your deck. I want to put this with my Marshadow. Unidentified Fossil. A Monferno. Order Pal. Ugh, I can't get it off. We got Sneasel. That Weavile is pretty sweet. You guys should check it out. And, ooh, it's it's shiny. Oh, man, it's great. It is the Rainbow Rare. Oh, man, I wanted this card so bad at pre-release. So badly I wanted this at pre-release. Oh, my gosh. It's the my favorite card in the set. Tell me what it looks like, guys. Does it look good? This is why you busted out the perfect fit right here. Right here is why you busted out the perfect fit. Bits. Oh my goodness. This is probably going to have to go in a top loader as well. That looks beautiful. I almost offered a kid 20 bucks for one of these at the pre-release. That is a beautiful card. And like I said, right, right into the top loader. Have to keep it protected. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. Sorry, it was right in front of you guys. Right in front of you guys. That That's just too good. So, we got no Prism Stars. Absolutely zero. Absolutely zero Prism Stars. So, last code, guys. Last code. I got uh, cut off there. Gave out that last code. Got cut off. We got a little bit of time left. So, let's go ahead and go. There's a the darkness. I think I got one of every energy. Glamio. Carnivine. Lickitung. Sneasel, a Chimchar, Primplub, Unit Energy, ah, it does exist, it does exist. A Lolan Doug Trio is actually only an uncommon. Varrosh Rotom, and our rare is that Garchomp. So guys, make like I said, make sure you check out both videos. Tell me who won, I got a Hollow Infernape and a Hyper Rare Dawn Wings. So, to everyone, so let, be sure to check out Retro New Guys. If he wins, let me know that I'm sending this Gyarados to him. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good day now. Bye bye.